guys do give me props and welcome to my Batman vs Superman Donald Joseph's Bat Suit tutorial. This part is gonna be covering the belt. Um, I've done the belt before previously, but that was with no template before. This was just like freehanded. Um, I'll probably show the belt at the end of the video, the one that I made. But once again, this is a template, and once again, I have to plug it in the foamcave.com. I cannot stress you guys how simple it is. It feels, it sounds like I'm getting paid to advertise them. No, I'm not. This is literally my go-to site when I want to make emblems, gauntlets, and belts. Simplest thing ever. I think he has some stress armor, but that's not his style of doing it. But it's pretty badass. So. I have to give him the plug, foamcave.com, you guys have been, that one guy has been amazing, uh, providing templates that are super easy to make, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, hopefully you guys learned something, because I know I did. Alright guys, for this part, what I'm doing is, I'm actually drawing out the templates for all the boots, for all the boot, not the boots, the belt template, I'm sorry, I'm still thinking about the boots. Um. The template was fairly easy to do. I just had the laptop to the side and I, and I was watching the tutorial that he did. He didn't actually do a tutorial, he actually made a blog post about it. So I was watching it, make it to the side, and of course I was using all silly foam sheets to make this tutorial, to make the spell. So you guys are gonna be seeing me trace a lot. This is gonna be tracing the, em not the emblem, but the buckle part of the boot. There we go, the main buckle part. So as the buckle rises, and the way that I did it before, it wasn't raised and I had, didn't gonna have enough detail. This buckle is going to have some detail and I'll go back to it. I'll probably do a video when I do the little details. Because I'm probably going to battle damage it soon. I'm probably going to battle damage it at the end. So right now you guys are going to see me trace all the parts with the Sharpie, of course. Because my pen just don't, pen don't go good with foam. So he's going to be trace it out with Sharpie and I'll see you guys back when I'm actually gluing everything together. Alright, now I'm cutting it. <laughs> I'm right now I'm basically building the buckle right now, so I'm cutting everything down. And I'm, of course I'm not gonna be using the three millimeter yoga mat foam because I want this to be pure or because I want the buckle and the pouches to be purely foam. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just building everything on top of each other, and just cutting all the details that I need. Of course I did some stuff twice so I can double reinforce it and it's gonna have a certain thickness to so the foam, it's not gonna be flimsy, it's gonna bend outwards. So right now I'm just going to be cutting everything and putting it together, of course I'm going to be using my scissors. Sometimes I use the exacto blade to cut large pieces, so I can have a large piece of foam that I can reuse later on. Of course you guys see me cutting a certain piece of foam right here, because that's basically the buckle insert. And that's where everything's going to go. So um, right now I'm just taking the adhesive off from one side of the silly foam sheet, so I'm just going to put it to the other side, where the, to the foam sheet where it sticks. So I'm just basically, yeah, I'm just gonna build it on top of each other, so it's gonna be uh, resilient, it's gonna be strong and sturdy, 
And of course, I go back to it with some Loctite Super Glue, and I use and I use a hot glue gun to put everything together. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed me building the buckle, and you guys can learn from me watching, from me doing it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, this is gonna be me, me building the pouches. The pouches came out bigger than what I thought. So it's gonna be a bit bulky, but in the end you're gonna tell it's gonna be the Batflex style pouches. So the pouches of I use the same method that I used to build the the buckle of the belt. So I'm just basically gonna be cutting up. Of course, I'm not gonna show you guys me building the six individual pouches because it's the same process. So I'm basically I used to show a build of one pouch and you guys can learn from 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 that and you can do the others the other five as well so of course I'm taking the adhesive from one side and putting it on top of each other and he's gonna be building uh, gonna be building upon each other I kind of made a mistake here because it was a silly mistake and I was supposed to take up the adhesive when I was done making the belt but I took it off and I just put another city foam sheet and I'll be gluing with foam of course you guys are gonna see me stack it on top of each other the different layers of foam and this belt pouch is actually pretty, it's pretty simple to build. Like I said, the, the template was easy enough that he actually did it. You could, anybody could do it. You can follow along the process of how he did it on his blog. So I'm just going to be doubling the layers up so I can be sturdy. And it's not going to be falling apart or bending. And of course, I occasionally go back to it with some hot glue gun. So everything can stay together nice and, nice and sturdy. So it won't fall apart.
Alright, so this is something really quick and super easy because I know he has some couple canisters. So I took one of my portable chargers and I used it to roll the phone on top of each other. And there you go. You got some simple canisters. And this is here me testing the belt right now, putting it on. See how it fits. And I was pretty happy with the result that it came out. And I gotta say, it looks pretty badass in my opinion. Alright guys, that was it. That's a bad suit belt tutorial. I'm actually I'm actually pretty happy how this bat this belt came out. You know, when I first saw this the belt when they released the press images of the full Batflex stash, and it was pretty cool. It's it, it reminds me of the old um it reminds me of the anime not the animated series, but it reminds me of the Arkham games. I mean, this looks like a Batman that just pops straight out of the beta game. So I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty excited how Batfleck is going to portray Batman, <laughs> how he's going to portray him, I think he's going to do him justice. So thank you guys so much for watching, like, comment, share, subscribe. With other people who are interested in making a Batsuit tutorial, um, if you guys want to check my other tutorial, my post Arkham City skin from Batman Arkham Knight, that was, that'll be in the description below as well, as others, as the other series I have going on on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next build.